Hello, Silver Trader FM subscribers and viewers. Coming directly from Las Vegas, Nevada, from the Silver Ton, of course, casino with munchies and more. Just wanted to do a little silver technical analysis review of our precious silver and silver future. So here we go. Okay, let's get right into it. Gold is down, negative 17.7 at negative 1.16. Silver is down, negative 0.65 at 1.86%. Platinum is down, negative 6.3 at 0.37%. The copper surprise is up, 0 0.05 cents at 1.21%, possibly because of Shanghai and China moving positively upwards, so the news says. Palladium, negative 9.95 at 1.34%. Interesting thing to note here is whenever precious metals like gold and silver, our favorites, go down, people seem to be uh, stocking up on the orange juice. So orange juice is leading the way again. And if we look for our silver, it's near the bottom here at negative 1.9%. Gold is right here at negative 1.2%. Gold. Uh, a while back we were looking at the symmetrical triangle, right? Of gold futures. Um, there is a symmetrical triangle with uh, four major support points. First one was back in January 24th. This one right here. Second one was in March 14. Third one was in May 16. And the fourth one at June 13, bouncing up off it. Then last week we were heading upward for a while, touching at about 1560. Then finding support here, and then by end of week we fell down, ending at a low of 14.98, just a bit under 1500. We were hoping for a major support at 1500, but it has breached that. So if we get a second week of gold closing lower below the support line and making a lower high and a lower low, then that would prove to be a bit bearish downward trend for our gold future. Okay, so t let's take a look at silver futures. If you recall, not too long ago, I did some uh, QE1, QE2, bearish pennant analysis on silver futures. So let's take a look at it right now. So this blue channel was the QE1 channel. This purple channel was the QE2 channel and still is. And this red channel was a bit of the hyperbolic move in silver where everybody was jumping in and trying to get silver above 50 until the margin hikes and some Bin Laden being found. Okay, so let's take a look at why this is still a major channel with support areas for QE2. So back in August when the Bernanke announced QE2 or speculated on it, that's when silver rallied and touched the top of the channel a couple of times. So that's the first major support. Second major support is when the Medis crisis happened. It touched it and took off. And the third one is the second week after the fall of silver, right? So that was around May 9, and it touched the bottom of this channel as well as the top of it, proving the channel resistance and support areas, right? So these are very important areas because this is what silver future traders, I believe, are also looking at when they're looking at channel patterns. And the fourth major support area was June 13, so it touched it and took off, ended higher for that week. But the very bearish sign that I was seeing this week is that we actually broke that support area and closed just a tad bit underneath it. Several reasons. Well, Obama released 30 million barrels of oil, which drove down other commodities, which I believe helped drive down gold and silver as well, right? Um, so basically, 30 million barrels of oil is a lot of BS, so if you think that is actually going to solve our petroleum problems, you know, it, it's not, because we use about 15 to 20 million barrels of oil a day, so we'll solve it for a day and a half. So anyone buying into that propaganda is so full of it, man. 
all these new channels and all these propaganda buyers of Obama. Whatever. Get real. Wake up. So, let's look at the daily. And if you look at the daily a bit closer, you can see that we've already entered that channel as of Friday. If we get a confirming move on Monday, that would be a lower low, a lower high, and that may be a downward trend for silver. But uh, another week with a lower low and lower high would be proving that this bearish pennant pole flag is coming true for silver. And what does that mean for us? Well, it could be a buying opportunity of a lifetime. If it continues to head down, it should find some support in about this 30 to 32 range right here. I can see it bouncing off here as well. So it should find major support in this area. If not, it'll continue within this QE1 channel until further notice from the Bernank where he's going to say he's going to save the day by doing some sort of magical money printing from his printing press. So this is Silver Trader FM. That was a quick overview of silver and gold and where I think it's headed. So far, it looks like it's heading down. But we shall see with a second week confirmation of a lower low and a lower high, which will prove that it is heading down. And a buying opportunity for all of us that's holding cash, ready to trade our fiat for real silver money and real gold money. Stay tuned. This can be the buying opportunity of a lifetime. This is Silver Trader FM reporting from the Silver 10 Casino. My comptroom, because I love to play craps. And Miss Silver Trader FM loves to play the slot machines. Silver Trader FM, I'm out for now.